The first idea we're looking at uh, in physics made easy is this idea of having a scalar quantity and a vector quantity. So let's have a look at a scalar quantity and a vector quantity. A scalar quantity is basically anything that is one dimensional. A vector is anything that is two dimensional. And so, what does this mean? This means that this has magnitude. The word magnitude can be replaced by a simple word which is more meaningful, size, or the amount of something. And a vector is any quantity that has magnitude and direction. And this is what makes it two-dimensional. Because this is just an amount, it's just a number, uh, we don't have to represent it in any special way. Anything that is a vector, we represent that by a line with an arrow at the end of the line. The length of that line is a measure of the size, so you may need a scale. So, for example, you may say that one centimetre is one or, or ten newtons, for example. So the length of the arrow gives you an idea of the size, or the magnitude, and the arrow gives an indication of the direction. Let's take this a little bit deeper. Let's just imagine my journey from A to B, so which may look something like this. There's A, there's B. I can measure the distance along this curved line, or that would make that a scalar quantity. Or I could measure the displacement. And displacement is the size of the vector from A to B, still a distance, but it's a distance in a given direction. I can measure the time it takes to travel along the curved, curved path. So if I divide that by the time, and I can measure the, the time it takes to go from A to B, which is the same time, then dividing the distance by the time would give me speed, which is scalar. Dividing the displacement by the time gives me velocity, which is speed in a given direction. Uh, I'd just like to finish uh, with one thinking question, which will force your grey matter to be challenged. Are there any quantities in physics or science that may be scalar, or vector, or both. For example, temperature, rise, or fall. Scalar, vector, or both. Thank you.